Hey, this is Anthony Thrasz. Let's see if you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Durban GTX, available at RevZilla.com. New for spring 2016 comes a refinement on the original Alpine Stars Durban jacket and pants. One color available, true four season adventure from Alpine Stars, carrying a hefty price tag. Jacket price has gone up 100 bucks, around that $800 mark. Pant price though has come down 100 bucks, gonna be around the $600 mark. You're looking at a Gore-Tex drop liner in this guy, but new for the new version, the original Durban came out in 2010, the new version's now spring of 16. This version now has a thermal liner built into the waterproof breathable Gore-Tex drop liner. For a true four season adventure coat that you're gonna be working hard in, I think that's a bit of a miss, Alpine Stars. I think people that want that waterproof breathability might wanna put it in action in maybe the summer or even the early early fall or maybe late spring, they might get a little warm. Same thing on the, pa on the pants. The pants now have that Gore-Tex waterproof breathability gold standard married with that thermal, again, which takes away from some of the flexibility. Big changes are very few and far between on this jacket. It's some nuanced updates, but the thing that stands out the most to me in my mind, where if you're a diehard Alpine Stars, you love this colorway, and you're saying, I want it to vent better, it had six vents before, now it has seven. So still your two shoulder vents, your two jacket arm vents, and your two back vents, coupled with an increase in venting on the pant. But on the jacket now, you can loop this back. It's the big feature change here. Undo your main connection zip, and hi, Ms. Brian here, let me see here without violating you, I'm gonna reach down, zip that back up. Now you have the ability to loop this back, loop this top back, it still snaps open, and now you have a big center line chest vent that goes all the way down, increasing your center of airflow. Now, that being said, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, I'm gonna give you my direct opinion. Like the Alpine Stars Durban, love the colorway. Again, it's a very classic Alpine Stars colorway that they've done well with over the last few years. I like the level of technicality, both with the protection and molecular armor Sastec, as well as the super fabric. What I don't like is that for another $100 more on the jacket and the pants, you can go to something like the Tech ST. It's not going to be adventure themed, but it's Gore Pro. So it's pro in the outer shell, waterproof breathability with a great venting scheme, bring your own base layer mentality. Again, giving you more flexibility by de coupling your thermal and your Gore-Tex layer and allowing you to have it baked into the outer shell. Not gonna be adventure but again, that's my recommendation. If you're looking in this price range and you're diehard Alpine Stars, maybe make that leap or at least evaluate the Tech ST. Now that I've opened it up, let's talk briefly about sizing and then we'll go back and walk through some of the nuances. Hi, this is Brian, beard and all, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest, wearing a size 52 and it's an athletic cut. And remember the sleeves are completely removable in case you wanna just go with a full on bionic jacket or a flak jacket or a compression suit, depending on how how you want to roll. From a pants side of things, they don't come in shorts and talls. He's wearing a size 52. He's a 33 jeans waist, 35 and a half belly button waist, 31 inseam. Wearing a size 52. And remember, the Sastec armor is going to be movable, so you can adjust it and make sure it's in the right place. I actually really like that they did that. Now, moving back to some of the other fit features, remember, use the size shirt. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks. Keep in mind, forearm adjustments. You have uh, bicep adjustments. You have adjustments along the waist here and these sleeves do come off. I did mention that. So keep in mind you do have a lot of ability to fine tune this. There's also going to be removable suspenders that come with the pants. Now, what I'd love for you to do before I move into some of the other nuance here, click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new 2016 Durban. Love to hear what you think about it or if you've absolutely loved your previous model or if you don't agree with me in the changes they made that actually I'm, you know, center line change, love. The two-in-one liner system change, not so much. So let's work our way back in. You're still getting your 600D, your 650D, and your 500D Cordura ripstop in your impact areas, which I really dig. Plenty of pockets. The hydration system is going to be baked in, although you have to add it or you have pockets for it. This is all rang dangly. Let's close this back up as I work my way through the rest of it here. So do me a favor, just, just shut it right there, just so it's not in the way. If we look at it, we talked about the ventilation across the sleeves. We talked about the adjustability already. There you go, Hivis Brian. It's good enough here. We're going to lock it down. There you go. Now, if we look at the sleeves, auto locking, YKKs with a set it and forget it. Notice there's an expansion here. And if you open it up from the inside, you'd see that that's my Gore-Tex liner. And it also has a thermal baked in. Now on the inside of the jacket, without that, it's going to be a mesh liner. So again, meant for hotter weather riding season with all the liners out. If we look at the front, Alpine Stars was one of the first, and it's because I'm on my separate zipper that this isn't working right here. It's because, they're one of the first to use the micro Velcro, so you can see it. It's not gonna bite your base layers, not gonna get in the way. And we've already talked about this arm vent here. 
getting great and direct airflow in a, along your elbow. So again, if you're in the riding position, dual sport, standing on the pegs, this is going to be an, air, an area that's going to get a ton of airflow and you're going to be good to go there. Some reflectivity baked in here as well. Turn and face that away, Hive is Brian. Now if he turns this side, remember, we can remove these sleeves if we want. We have reflectivity, Sastec molecular armor that becomes rigid upon impact. That's a nice upgrade. Shoulders working away down, you have it in the elbows. You're going to see the super fabric. This is for sliding, tiny laser welded ceramic plates. They're going to slide four times longer than leather, 14 times longer than Kevlar. Again, old school design, it's the flat super fabric. I actually don't mind it. You see Talisman on some of the Gore Pro devices. This is fine for me and they split it so it would be more flexible. Notice the reflectivity if he lifts his arm. Nice large vent along the back. You have a waist cinch here and you have a nice long finish. Now turn backwards for me there, HVB. Starting at the top and working your way down. The previous Durbin had a high collar that snapped down. It was too much, it was out of control. They went with a single height collar now that's a little more flexible. Notice you have the neoprene across the top. This Gore-Tex area is where your tube is gonna snake through for your hydration system. This would be your pouch that you'd put it in. From a back protector standpoint, it does not come with a back protector. You'd be looking at the Nucleon Insert Series. The KR1i, KR2i are gonna be what's fitted out here. We talked about the back zips for airflow. Again, seven air vents on the jacket itself. It's a good amount with the liners out. It should flow a good amount of air. And this is, I will call out, we've talked about the sleeves a couple times being removable. One of the few on the market that you can do that. Now this back pouch is expandable or compressible, comes off, works as a shoulder bag, and it gives you that nice long seat that goes all the way down. Obviously, there's a 360 degree zip, allowing you to pair the Durban jacket to the Durban pants. And you get a good shot down the pants, you're gonna see they're very simple, not a lot going on there, Velcro towards the bottom. They are designed for off-road riding, so you should be able to get a knee brace on underneath them. And again, certainly configured for an off-road boot that's gonna have more buckles and more pronounced aggressive features on the inside. Come back around for the, to the front for me there, HVB. Now, if we open it up, you're going to get a shot of a few things. First thing is the Napoleon pocket right on the inside there. It's a waterproof pocket. Second thing is I'm now going to unzip him from that extra panel that just lives on the inside. That's that mesh panel. If we open it up, micro ripstop. This is our Gore-Tex layer. Notice it even has a zipper garage at the top, so it's not going to bite you or bite your Adam's apple. Again, basically finished inner liner. It does have that thermal quality. You can add Alpine Star's chest protection here. Notice the collar does have that 3D mesh. It's wicking. That's a nice touch. Again, on the inside, 360 degree zip, basic pockets, not meant to get in the way, but meant to be flexible. Now, if we open up the inner liner here, you're gonna notice rain gutter system, again, giving you the ability to fully waterproof that zipper. Zippers are always a weak point for water. And then there's our thermal liner on the inside, and that's the piece that I don't really love. I wish that was a, even a thermal vest liner that I could take out on its own, and I could stick with my collapsible Gore-Tex for hotter weather riding season. If you're buying something this adventure, typically you're riding in warmer times of the year, and again, this thermal, other than wintertime riding or colder season riding, or if you're really sedentary on your pegs, which would see you in a very aggressive suit to just be sitting there touring, that wouldn't be the thing that you'd be looking for. Now, if I open it up, basic pockets along the inside, you're gonna see they simplified the suspender system. They're more removable. Notice 360 degree zip. We do have adjustment up here along the waist and the pants, and they improve some of the ventilation along the pants as well. Still have leather on the insides of the knees, still has super fabric at the knees, and the super fabric configuration on the knees depending on your riding setup. If you're a more fared motorcycle, if you're going to be more in the sport touring position, be careful with that super fabric. It's going to come a little bit close to your fairings and it might um, come in contact with your paint. And tiny ceramic laser welded plates in contact with the paint scheme on your bike is not your favorite thing on a Saturday morning. Now, you've heard my honest opinion. I still think there's a big contingent of diehard A-Stars guys out there, folks that love this style, folks that want the removable sleeves, folks that are gonna remove all the liners anyway and ride full season hot weather year round anyway. I think that's a rock solid setup for this. If you want it for four, true four season riding and flexibility though, because of that two in one liner, that's where it starts to sway a little bit and I might look at that Tech ST. Outside of that though, the next step in your journey is to click the info button on your mobile or desktop device. Visit the product detail page for jacket and pant at revzilla.com. Read other riders' opinion on the Alpine Stars Durban for 2016. You shouldn't just take my word for it, see what other riders are saying. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us, Revzilla TV on your YouTube channel. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.